Welcome back to Kilo Hearts YouTube channel. My name is Mel, so I'm your fun size pop angel and producer princess. And today I am going to be kickstarting a new three part series all about how I use Faceplant and other Kilo Hearts plugins to create my own little brand of pop. In this brand new series, I'm going to be taking apart a little track that I've created using primarily Kilo Hearts plugins and Faceplant. And I'm going to go through each of the main instrument groups. In this first episode, of Let's Make Pop, we're gonna go through how I made sounds like this, like this, and like this. But also, I'll be recommending some of my favorite presets that come part of Multipass and Faceplant. Before we get started, drop us a thumbs up and let's go. So let's start off with the kick. This kick really isn't that complex, but the character of this kick to me comes from one particular snap-in. Firstly, I've got compression, a little slice EQ, and here we have the transient shaper. My velocity modulator is lined up to the attack on the transient shaper. That just means that note, which has a higher velocity, is going to have a louder attack. I've then got a little bit more distortion, a bit more, and this, is really where the sound changes. This is the verse kick that we're looking at and the chorus kick. But in the pre-chorus, I actually change the settings on the disperser only. It kind of adds to the feeling of motion and momentum in a track. So let's take a look at the snare. So this gated snare is comprised of just two analog generators and one noise generator. Just thought to myself, okay, 80 snares sound really big. So what would I do to a pad if I wanted it to sound bigger? I would tend to add more voices. So I tried that on this snare sound. I wouldn't usually approach it like that. I've got a load of voices um, up to eight on the first sign generator. Of course, this is two down to an octave as well. And then I've got five voices on the next sine wave generator, which is not tuned down or up anywhere at all. Let me have this lovely short envelope and then a even shorter envelope on the noise layer just to get the transient super, super crisp and quick. So let's hear what it sounds like just as it is. Noise really makes a huge, huge difference. Let me have a compressor, three band EQ. Distortion, Faturator, doing quite a lot, Disperser. Of course, it is one of my drum patches, so we have linked up the attack of this transient shaper to this velocity modulator. Then we come over to lane two, we have a slice EQ, more distortion. And then we have lane three. Now this is where it gets particularly creative. So this is our first instance of Convolver. Now Convolver is the latest plugin from the Kilo Hearts range. It's mind blowing. It's quite mind blowing to be honest with you. Get off and put it back on. Yeah. So not only are we getting this sort of short reverb, but if we take it right down, you can see the wave of the Convolver shape changing quite a lot. It's just so cool. Remember to right click so you can type. Now, to be completely honest with you, I picked a completely random space and we've got this pretty high up in the mix. But of course, what would an AT snare be without a gated reverb? So of course, we're going to add on a, um, a gate in there as well. The next thing that I really want to show you are these hi-hats. This was just me going tss, 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 like that. Really simple. I then added a little distortion noise. However, this is where the fun really, really starts, trust me. So I added a random modulator and I've linked this up to the pitch of my sample and also the panning 
here on the output and listen to what it creates. So let's quickly have a look at the toms because the patch is actually exactly the same as the snare. Now, hand on heart, I did actually lean on my keyboard and it was adjusted to be an octave up. And I thought, hang on a minute, that sounds kind of like a ladies tom. So let's take off these two plugins here, distortion and reverb, and let's just hear what it sounds like on its own. Yeah. And then I've added a little bit of saturation distortion nice and a little bit of reverb and there we have it 80s toms well i really hope that that has inspired you to perhaps create something a little bit different using the kilo hearts products and of course if you've created anything at all which is inspired in any way by anything that i've mentioned today then please do let me know i would love love to hear from you my social media handle across the board is at she's called mouse and also make sure you follow my own youtube channel as well the link is in the description in addition if you have any questions about anything i've spoken about today then do drop a comment down below and i will get back to you don't forget to hit subscribe and i will see you in part two <laughs>